23, we have the absolute value needs to be bigger than 11. In other words, here's zero because absolute value is saying how far away I have to be. I need to be more than 11 away, which means here's 11. I need to be going that direction. Here's negative 11, which is 11 away or that way. I need to be going away from, I need to be greater than that. So we know this is going to be an or situation plus a great tour makes you think of the word or. So how do we do it? Well, this could be positive in here or negative. So we look at both. So we're going to look at the piece inside being bigger than 11 or since it's a greater, we're going to use an or, or the other option is the opposite of this negative two N plus three being bigger than 11. Okay. So where we always start, we'd look at the positive piece, what's inside here being bigger than the 11 or the opposite of it being bigger than 11. Solving this, subtract three, subtract three, the negative two N opposite of two N, negative two N greater than 11 minus three is how much? We have eight there, divide by negative two. Do notice that when we do this, inequality is gonna flip. And my board decided to flip out. So N is less than negative four. Over here, first step, you always on this side, you'll start by dividing by negative one which will flip the inequality. This guy's gonna get flipped twice, isn't he? 11 divided, negative one is negative 11. Subtract three, subtract three, negative two in less than negative 14, divide by negative two and look what happens. He flips back in bigger than seven. We have an n going less than negative four or the n could be bigger than seven shooting in different directions. So what you put answer wise, say n is less than a four or n can be bigger than seven. There's 23, 24. Oh, it starts off here with a negative here. It's saying this absolute value of two n plus one, absolute value, whatever here, this is going to be a positive answer. How often is a positive answer going to be smaller or equal to negative seven? Can a positive number ever be smaller than negative seven? That never happens. That tells me right off, this is one of those situations I have to pay attention to when I have a negative right here. It's a special situation where either everybody's working or nobody's working. And in this case, nobody's working. There's no solution here for 24. There's no value for n that you can plug in that's gonna make this equation true. Final problem. Well, <clears throat> okay, we have an absolute value divided by three greater than two. First thing I'm gonna have to do, get rid of that divide by three. Let's multiply by three to clean this up and say, hey, your absolute value in reality must be bigger than six. We need to be more than six feet away, greater than six feet away. That tells me it's an or situation. Greater, this side is bigger, greater than six. So this is an or. So I'm gonna make my positive piece bigger than six or the negative piece bigger than six. You can see it's the same method every single time. Two X bigger than 10 divide. We need X to be bigger than five to make the one side true. What about the other side? Well, we start by dividing by negative one as we always do. We'll have the two X minus four bigger than negative six, right? No, that inequality has to do what? Flip, and it will always flip on that first part because we're always gonna be divided by negative one. Add four, add four. Two X has to stay less than negative two, divide by two so that I can keep it on the screen. Negative two divided by two is negative one. Didn't divide by negative, we divided by positive. So that stays, this is an or situation. So our answer is X is bigger than five or X is what? Smaller than negative one.